Welcome to Restoring Original Christianity for Today, where you will find the original true gospel of Jesus Christ as it was taught by his apostles, where there are no traditions of men taught, only scriptural teachings. As a matter of fact, historically, that's how the Reformation began. And the motto of the Reformation was sola scriptura, scriptures only. But the truth of the matter is, they didn't change very much. And the truth of the matter is, that they have been subverted. And the truth of the matter is today, there is so much confusion. What is Christian? Who is a Christian? How do you know what God taught? How do you know what Jesus taught? How do you know what the apostles taught? So the world is upside down and in a mess. And even the churches, the so-called Christian churches of the world are falling apart. Atheism and agnosticism is growing almost as fast as the churches are losing people. So what is original Christianity? Well, that's why we have church at home because here we deal only with the scriptures of God as they apply to the world today, and as they apply to our lives. Now, Jesus gave the warning that many would come in his name saying that he was the Christ and would deceive the many, and that's the majority of the people. How did that happen? Well, very slowly very carefully. But let's understand this. God is a God of truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And when you come right back to the beginning of the ministry of Jesus Christ, we begin to understand how was it possible for the true words of Christ and the gospel to be subverted by men. Well, when Jesus was led out to be tempted of Satan the devil after he was baptized, the devil tempted him, and Jesus had to overcome Satan the devil because Satan the devil is the one who is deceiving the whole world. Satan the devil is the one who has created hundreds and thousands of so-called Christian churches, yet they do not do the very first thing that Jesus said needed to be done when confronted with things that are not true. And we know that Satan the devil is the liar. So here, after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, the devil said to him, if you are the son of God, command that these stones become bread. Well, Jesus could have easily have done that because you see, he was God manifested in the flesh who was the Lord God of the Old Testament. Now notice how Jesus answered him. It is written, and that is the only way that you can understand the truth of God and the true gospel. It is written, the word of God, and God has preserved it. And we have segments on how God preserved the Bible and how we have the correct Bible today. And that Bible is the Holy Bible in its original order which is the best translation possible for understanding the Word of God. But notice this answer. Man shall not live by bread alone, by food alone, by man's ways alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Now, that's how we're to live. Do people do that? Simple test. Do you know the Ten Commandments? Can you recite them? Simple test. If you have idols or make them, crosses or crucifixes, if you keep Sunday instead of the Sabbath, you have been deceived. Now, you may have some parts of truth because every liar has to have enough truth in there to make it convincing. But what did Jesus say? Every word of God. Now understand this, please. Jesus was God manifested in the flesh, 
Every word of Jesus Christ is important. That's why we need to go by the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's why we need to go with all the rest of the New Testament. And that is why we need the Old Testament. Now, there are a lot of people who say that Christ came and did away with the law, but he said he didn't. And he said that heaven and earth would perish before there would be any change in the law. Question, is heaven and earth here today? <laughs> it's got to be, <laughs> because I'm talking to you or whoever is listening. Does it apply? Of course it does. Now think of this. Think of a seed. In that little seed is everything necessary that if you put it in the ground and water it and give it the nutrients it needs, it's going to grow and flourish and it's going to produce abundantly. It's all in the little seed. But you don't know what is in the little seed. You can't see what is in the little seed. You can't understand what is in the little seed. Well, the Bible, and especially the Old Testament, is like the seed. And the only way you're going to understand it is to obey. Jesus made that very, very clear. The law has not been abolished. As a matter of fact, just like the seed, it has been spiritually expanded. And it is absolutely the truth of God. And all the traditions of men are null and void before God. So people can bring a form of Christianity, but they're denying the true God and the true Christ. So here at Church at Home and on our other website, cbcg.org, we are restoring original Christianity for today. How do you live God's way today. How do you understand the prophecies? Why is the world going the way that it is? Now you have to do your part. All of us do. First, you've got to get a Bible, Bible that you can understand, a Bible that will tell you the truth. Number two, then you have got to believe and obey what you read in the scriptures. Because, you see, one of the greatest fundamental truths is this. God never changed the Sabbath to Sunday. So let me tell you another truth based on that. You only understand as you obey. And people who keep Sunday have a form of godliness, have a form of the truth, may be nice, sincere, and dedicated people to their churches, but they haven't proved the truth. Because whenever you substitute the teachings of men for the teachings of God, blinders come down over the eyes. Yet they all know that seventh-day Sabbath, called Saturday today, is the day which God created as the Sabbath. Remember, it's a day he created for that purpose. And God hasn't changed it. And no man has the power to change the word of God. As a matter of fact, we have warnings in the Old Testament, warnings in the New Testament. You shall not add to it or take away from it. And when they say the law has been done away, they're taking away. The Bible shows that God reveals great things to us out of his law, just like the seed. Oh, look at that beautiful plant. But we have to apply ourselves and study. We have to pray and ask God to help us. Help us to see wondrous things out of your law. So here's a promise of Jesus. Matthew 7 and verse 7. Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. That's your part. God will answer. God will hear. 
You've got to ask God to help you. You have to ask God to give you the understanding. You have to have an openness of mind, a willingness to change, to live by every word of God, which are the words of Christ. Now, it also means this, verse 8, for everyone who asks receives, that's a promise, everyone who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it shall be opened. Do you want the word of God to open to your understanding? Well, God wants you to know. God wants you to understand. You have to come to Christ and know that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And that as you love God and obey God and keep his commandments, study his word, yield yourself to him, he will convert you. Because God has a great plan, and God's great plan is hidden in plain sight in the Bible, but you have to seek it. You'll find it. You have to knock for understanding. God will open. You have to yield yourself to Jesus Christ and you will understand the true Christianity, the original teachings of Jesus Christ and the apostles with no human traditions, no politics involved, scriptures only. Now we have a lot of material for you that we announce on Church at Home and cbcg.org. But the greatest thing that is necessary today is restoring original Christianity, that it be restored in teaching, that it be restored in our lives, that it be restored in the way that it was originally taught by Jesus and his apostles. This is what restoring original Christianity is all about. And it is the fundamental goal and purpose of church at home because you can't find these things in the churches. And Christian Biblical Church of God for those who have advanced beyond the basics. So continue in your search for the truth and may God bless you in what you're doing and recapture original Christianity for today.